Hello there. So if you're like me, you got your GoPro 10 and then you're trying to use it as a webcam with Windows 11 software, and then you're having issues trying to run it as a webcam, I might have a solution for you. It took me some time to figure this out, but I knew it was something on Windows 11 that was giving me the problems because I tested this one on my Windows 10 machine and the driver that GoPro provided the setup that GoPro provided online with the driver pretty much worked. So I was able to use this on my Windows 10 machine without a problem, but on Windows 11, uh, it just gives, it just keeps on giving me the, uh, the connection error. So from there, I figured out it's probably some kind of a driver issue with Windows 11. And you know, Windows 11 is a new OS, so it, it was just recently released. So of course you, you'd be expecting some bugs with it. So this is probably, uh, you know, just one of those things that they need to iron out. So let me give you a step-by-step -step instruction on how I was able to solve my GoPro webcam problem with Windows 11. Now, this could also depend on your setup. So this is my Windows setup. And if you're encountering any issues and you have a similar setup to mine, this might solve your Hero 10 webcam problem. So let's get on to it. All right, 4320. Okay, so we're here on the GoPro website on um, their basically their guide to turn your GoPro Hero into a webcam. So just go there, you can see the link on top, and then it'll tell you how to um, you do it. In this case, we'll need the Windows. Windows Utility Download, so download that one. So it's a GoPro webcam program, basically, you're gonna install in your machine. Then open the file. So it'll prompt you multiple times, so just go through the motions. And you know, if you wanna read it, go read it, but normally we just go click Next anyways, right? Then install. So just wait for the application to be installed. Then approve it. Then once you install, it's going to ask you to restart, so just reboot your machine. Okay, once you install it, just go to the search box or the apps. You could look, look for it there, but just search box is the faster way. Just type in GoPro and you'll see the GoPro webcam and then open it up. And then you will see a small icon on your taskbar. It'll pop up there and then just right click on it. And then from there, you can see the preview or preferences or, you know, just, but basically the preview is the one you use to test the camera. And then when you normally, when you click on preview, you're going to get this error, these types of error. So this happened to me a few times on my Windows 11 machine, but I test that, like I mentioned earlier on my Windows 10, it worked okay. So I, I, I was thinking it's, it's a driver problem. So now let me get, let me show you the steps I did to fit uh, to to fix it and have our GoPro 10 working with our Windows 11 machine. So first, you got to go to the device manager. So it's just faster to click on the search, type in device manager here. Then from here, you can see it. You see the list here, right? So what I want you to do is open your GoPro webcam application if it's closed if it's open just leave it open here i just want you to see um how it shows up on the on the um on the device manager now okay so you have that open you have the device manager open now see this got the gopro right so i'm gonna plug it in via the usb cable so it's plugged in turning it on Now here, it acts as an MTP client disk volume, right? But we don't want that. We want it to act as a camera, right? So and then you're going to get this pop-up where you're going to see the camera connection error. Okay, so, and if you notice, so you have this one that popped up when you turned on your GoPro, 
did you notice if you notice on the device manager you'll see a gopro usb ncm host device here with a warning see that small triangle a warning label basically so it looks like there's some issues with the driver that's when i thought something's going on with the driver okay so now we're gonna try and fix this okay so for now leave your gopro gopro 10 connected powered on right so actually here, let me, let me, let's make sure it still has that error, right? So it'll, when you open it up, it's going to open this. It'll be on MTP mode. Then if you click here, you're going to get the camera connection error, right? So it's still connected. See USB connected. You can see it there, USB connected. In the front, it's just USB connected, right? Okay. Still connected, powered on. Okay, now go to your search bar. Look for the device manager or open the app device manager itself. Okay. The reason why we need it on is we need it to show the problem or the warning, you know, this warning sign. So if you go to their device manager, you can see here, GoPro USB NCM host device. If you turn it off, you won't see that, right? So here, let me turn it off so you can see it here. It's going to go away, right? Because if it's not powered on, it's not running the device, you know, the application is not loading the device basically. So I'm turning it on again. Here's the MTP and you see that it popped up there. That's why we need the device on. That's the reason. Okay. Now go to this network adapter, right? Click on it. Click on update driver. Browse my local my computer for drivers and then let me pick from a list of drivers on my computer right so you we have this and this so this is the current one which has a problem now select the one on the bottom which says USB NCM host device and then once you click next Windows have you'll get this message Windows X has successfully updated your drivers close okay so now it's okay here right but of course, the application that we have um, still is here, but we need to close it because it already aired out. So you want to close it. Okay, after you disconnected your GoPro and powered it off, it's best to just reboot the system to make sure everything is, um, everything is clear. So let's just do that real quick. Okay, so now we've rebooted can start the GoPro app. So it would be here. And then connecting the GoPro 10 and turning it on. So it's going to open the folders as usual. But if you go here, right click on the app and preview. There you go. You should be able to now use your GoPro Hero 10 with your Windows 11 machine. And if you could see here, right? Okay, so here it is. So you don't see that warning anymore. Now the driver is finicky because it's Microsoft driver and not GoPro. So it's probably a generic driver for a lot of these stuff. So if we go to lens mode, it's on wide. Maybe let's say you go to linear, we might encounter an issue if I do this. There, and it looks like we did. So whatever setup you have, just leave it alone because like, you know, I just changed the zoom, the lens mode, and I got the camera connection error. So now I probably have to exit this again and then start it again and uh, see what happens. So I've exited it. I'm going to turn the GoPro off again. And then I'm going to run the GoPro application again. So I changed it to linear. I'll leave it that way for now because I really don't need wide anyways as a webcam. So. Okay, so let me turn it on again. So that's the crux of this because it's a Microsoft driver that it's using. 
it's not really the GoPro driver because the GoPro and you know Windows 11 looks like it has some difficulties for now. Um, you just gotta you know just gotta swing with it until they fix it. So there it is again. So this is on linear now. So I'm not gonna change this anymore. But there you go. So if you have any um, any issues with the with the camera and Windows 11, hopefully this is the fix. And just remember, it could be specific to my setup. So here is my setup. Okay, hope that helps. And here is the camera. Oh. There it says webcam mode. You can see it there. Okay, I hope this helps. And if it does, give me a like. If it doesn't, hey, thanks for dropping by.